All the voices of all the characters you are about to hear come from the throat of one man, Charlie Lund, the man of a hundred voices. Chapter 17, Leap for Life. And now, the adventures of Charlie Lung. In Arizona, at the Lazy Y Ranch, its owner, Goldpan Jeffers, is staging an indoor fiesta, celebrating the narrow escape from hanging at the hands of El Lobo the Bandit, and the safe return of the cattle money by Charlie Lund. The big ranch barn, packed with cowhands and Ojiwa Indians, fairly rocks. On a stage at one end of the barn, accompanied by the lazy Y all-male six-gun choir, little Charlie sings song after song. I don't want her, you can have her. She too fat for me. She too fat for me. She too fat for me. I don't want her, you can have her. She too fat for me. She too fat. She too fat. She too fat for me. But I love you, but so nice. I'm so nice. Meanwhile, over the border at El Diablo and the rowdy cantina, Mr. Fitzmaurice and Meadows, heads pillowed in their arms on a tabletop, pretend sleep, straining their ears to catch each word spoken by the black guard del Lobo to his companion seated at the table beside him. And despite the fact that he has lost the stolen gold to the lazy Y riders, El Lobo seems in fine spirits. <laughs> That drink is good one, eh? Watch the dust on my throat. Now what do we do, El Lobo? Now what do we do? Look out of the window. You see, the sun has not yet set. That means we have plenty of time to rest, Amigo. Then we ride again to the lazy way rain show. But why do we go back to the ranch today, Samuel? Because it is the last thing Jeff would expect. Now he gets back to gold and ride to his ranch. He think he's safe. But, Senor, he had many riders there at the ranch. And they will all fight good. They will not fight us, Pedro. Why not, Senor? Because they are not going to see us. That is why. At midnight tonight, when they are all asleep, we slip up to the ranch house. This time I have one friend that cannot fail. When tomorrow comes, Old Pan Jeff and all his friends will be no more. But, Daniel, what are you going to do to him? Never mind, never mind. I have one big idea. <laughs> go on, you. Finish your drink. First we go to the barn. Get the horses he rub down. And then we sleep until midnight. Oh, bueno. I finish drink, hello. All right, now. Come, Luz. <laughs> now we go to the barn. How did you? you walk like old woman. <laughs> we give my black beauty the rain. Extra corn to eat. Hey. Hey. Them drivers are gone, Mr. Hitchmarry. Oh. Oh, mercy. Thank heaven for that. You know, lying face down on this table in the middle of this Mexican food is not too inspiring. Oh, I've got tamales all over me. This hot sauce is literally running out of my ears. Oh, blimey. Now what, sir? We didn't learn very much, did we, sir? You'd think that... Hey, off a moment, will you? Let me wipe them beans off your chin, won't you? I'll take you so much. That's all right. Yeah, someone here will tell you a coat, too. I might say, sir, and all we found out was that them bandits is going to strike at midnight tonight, sir. Oh, how right, Meadows. But at least this time we've forewarned, haven't we? Yeah, mummy, sir. Them bandits don't start out until midnight. 
We've got plenty of time to warn everybody at the Lazy Y, haven't we, sir? I suppose that we should start out now, though, anyway. Well, yes, yes. Yes, we, we should. We certainly have hours to prepare a warm reception for those smile rustlers. I... I... <laughs> I had to watch myself or come to you and hear me laughing. But confidentially, this is once I feel we'll really outwit that cheap thug El Lobo I do. <laughs> oh, El Lobo, if we do not leave until midnight, I would like very much to go and see my girl Conchita before we go away. No, no. Hurry quickly to the barn. Now we are going to take shortcut to Lazy Y. But, Senor, you say in the cantina, we do not leave until midnight. See, yeah, that is what I say in the cantina. But hurry now. But, Senor, why do you change your mind? I do not change my mind, Pedro. I say that for those two from the Lazy Y who listen to us from the next table pretend to be asleep and fool. You mean they are spies, Senor? They are spies. So I make one plan for them and one plan for us. Yeah. <laughs> a treat, Pedro. I like to play a game of cat and mouse when I am cat. I... Uh, there ain't no way but one. You wait for me, huh? Wait. Onto your horse, Pedro. Hey, Pedro. I'm out here. Oh, oh, my work. What? Uh. Hey, easy. Now we beat those two local hombres to the Lazy Way Ranch. We take the shortcut through the Rattlesnake Canyon. Come, Darima. Out from the barn. Come. Easy. No. Fetch my black beauty. Run. Run. Uh-huh. This time we pay all our debts to go and here. Run. Run like the wind. <laughs> El Lobo and Gomez gallop to the Badlands, while Meadows and Fitzmorris, unaware of the trickery, ride at an easy lope along the regular trail. The two bandits head straight for Rattlesnake Canyon, shortcut to the Lazy Y. Soon they are slowed down to a walk as their powerful horses climb the narrow trail, leading thousands of feet to the top of the canyon. As their horses strain to reach the timberline, far above, a pair of keen black eyes peer down through the dense pines. A lone Indian brave of the Ojiwa tribe sights the somber garbed figure on the great black mare and recognizes El Lobo, the bandit. Quickly, the Indian darts back into the pines. After a moment of deep forest silence, a war drum telegraphs the message of approaching danger. The tom-tom beats are dismissed by El Lobo as only the drums of some tribal rites at a nearby Indian village, and he and Pedro continue their triumph. Back at the Lazy Y, Chief Big Horse and his braves, mounted on their tough little ponies, are about to bid farewell to Goldpan Jeffers. Professor Beerstone, Cyclone, Charlie, and Goldpan stand on the broad ranch house veranda preparing to wave goodbye to the red men. Me speak. Me, Chief Big Horse, make thank you, white men. For great kindness to my trade. Well, wow, Chief, glad you and had a good time. <laughs> Come, swig me. You done us a mighty big favor. Yes, sirree. If it hadn't been a few engines and Charlie here, we'd all been hung to that dreaded El Lobo guy. Is that right, Professor? Yeah. We shall never forget how you and your Ojiwa brave saved us. We are all very grateful, Chief. Yes, yeah, sir. Now go on. For a while there, you know, I was sure my neck was going to be stressed like a rubber band. We glad to help. Ojiwa and Lazy Y Rider are as brother. Always hold, hold. Next to our stop. Listen. I hear drum of my lookout guard. All quiet. Me make listen. Hey, Say, Chief. 
Who said they Tom Tom German me? It mean white brother. My lookout brave who stand high on mountain above Rattlesnake Canyon. See two rider climb up trail. He say, one of them, bandit, a lobo. El lobo, dead ready. So he's ahead in this way, is he? This time, bandit, no escape. Me and my brave ride back down trail to border. Circle back in behind them. You make attack from front. We not minutes to waste. Say, that's a dandy idea. Dandy, dandy, dandy. Soon they be at summit of onion. We ride. We see so hot. Ride, Ojiwa. Ride fast. This time, I know it's big. Horses, fellas. If we can get near the summit before our lobo does, we'll trap him like the mangy cow. Yeah, come on, Charlie boy. This time we're going to get that monk as sure enough. Hold on, Mr. Cyclone. I'll come here very quick. This time he bounds it and all get away. Hey, hey. I are against your horses. Get on him. He ain't got a minute to waste. He's your horse, Charlie. Well, I, well, I thank you very much. Don't go. 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 do uh-oh, there we go. Uh-oh. Easy now, Sean. Well, gents, looks like we're all ready to ride. Now, all of you, chuck your six guns and rifles. That bandit rat ain't going to give up easy. <laughs> Hold on, stand yourself. I'll take it more, brother. We might be holly. Soon sun will be set. Yeah, you ain't a kidding. Let's get riding. You ought to meet up with them there just the same time as them engines close in on them from the rear. Come on, let's ride, gents. Come on, gents. The Lazy Y riders sweep from the ranch house at a full gallop. Eyes lifted to the high walls of Rattlesnake Canyon, and their fresh horses maintain a reckless speed until they hit the draw that leads to the mountaintop. As the trail narrows, they are forced to proceed single file at a slow walk over the boulders and loose shales. Jeffers, at the head of the column, holds up his hands and signals for a halt. Easy there, fellas. Easy there. Easy there. Put them horses. Yeah, for Mr. Goldpan. Whoa there, Sean. I guess this is as far as we go. Now, whoa, whoa. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, stop the horse. Whoa, whoa. Stop it, please. Whoa. Who? Who the? Well... What's your next move, old man? Well, get all our horses hidden in that cave over there. Then they ain't going to get hit with some bullets out of Brian. Jimmy! Jimmy O'Keefe! Move all them critters in there, will you? All right, sir. I'm moving them quick, I mean. Now, old man, are we going the rest of the way out to court? No, no, sir. No, sir. The ends is going to get behind these big rocks scattered over the trail. Draw our six guns. <laughs> I know an old and that side where they going is. Come down that narrow pass. We'll have a bead on him. Yes, sir. He'll reach for the sky or else. Say, God, God. With that mean guy coming up behind him. <laughs> yeah. look, boy, ain't had nothing but misery. Well, talk to you, gents. But a fan I just let you walk. That dry gush and bandit is going to show mighty soon. Now get your boulders on. Come on, Tommy. Come on, get your gun out. Carefully, the lazy Y riders take cover behind the boulders that dot the narrow trail. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the rear trail leading to the summit, Chief Big Horse and his braves sit motionless upon their well-trained ponies, the slowly sinking sun highlighting their blonde skins and war bonnets. Grimly, they wait the message of the tom-tom from the hidden lookout, the message that will tell them El Lobo has reached the small plateau that parallels the drop into Rattlesnake Canyon. Suddenly, the Ojiwa drum speaks, and it speaks of death. At its sound, the two bandit horsemen, without knowing why, stiffen slightly in their saddle. The lazy Y riders crouch behind their rocks, check six guns and rifles. The 
the Indians draw cruel tipped arrows from beaded quivers. It is but a matter of moments before El Lobo and Gomez will face double ambush. Listen. In a moment, we'll return to the adventures of Charlie Lung. Here's the most important reminder. The American Red Cross starts its annual campaign for funds next month in March. Be sure to make your plans now to be extra generous, because the job the Red Cross must do is even so much bigger than before. Just think, it's going to take $75 million to do the work that is absolutely necessary. Yes, there's the high cost of living, and the dollar isn't worth all it used to be. That's true. But friends, human needs have not shrunk. Human needs have grown greater. The things the Red Cross does for humanity makes a list much too long to tell you about now, so I won't go into that. I'll just say that the Red Cross reaches into every town in America. You are the Red Cross, serving humanity with your contributions. So be more generous than ever. Remember, Charlie Lung says, To help because of duty, quite fine. But to give from heart is more sublime. And now, back to the adventures of Charlie Lung. El Lobo, most feared bandit north and south of the border, and his henchman, Pedro Gomez, reach the small mesa that stands high on the rim of Rattlesnake Canyon. Little do they suspect that before them, guns in hand, await the lazy Y riders, and behind them, Chief Big Horse and his braves slowly close in. The bandits sit on their powerful horses for a brief rest, before their descent upon the lazy Y for a sneak attack on Goldpan Jeffers. Uh, steady, my black beauty. I wish you the rest before we go down the trail. Henry Lobo, those fools are going to be very surprised this time, no? Oh, gee. This time I have brand, Pedro. I, I tell you, when we get near range, when I am through, nobody at the lazy Y will be alive to tell this story. Gold Panjabi is going to learn. Nobody can end think a lobo. So, Mariana, you are rest, huh? Good. Now we start down the narrow trail. Come, my beauty. Easy now. Come. You like close to me, Pedro. Hey, Panjabi. Trail is narrow, covered in rock. Careful, my black one. We have plenty of time. Oh, down we go. Panjabi. This shortcut trail is very rough. <laughs> very rough, but very quick, eh? Eh, you keep your eye open. We'll be all right. <laughs> oh, oh. What is the matter, Larry? We are safe. <laughs> all of a sudden, you act like nervous old woman. Steady, my guide one. Very funny to see you. Soon we shall see the lazy Y below. Then we start something, eh? Reach to the sky, my Lobo! We got the carriage! Hold on, Hannah, steady. Gotta pull your gun, Pedro. I'm sorry, you know. Keep your hands away from your guns. Hey, the Lord! Oh, God, you're all right again. We've back to every rock down here. Can I draw your gun, Sanyo? I'm on, but no. We will be dead before they can get our gun from the holster. I'll talk to them and start for time. Let me handle this thing. Then, Yoris, we can still ride back. We are not dead until shot. Well, if you try that, that old boat, there's a surprise waiting for you. Trail behind you for the old G.Y. engine. Caramba, the cousin of G.Y. No, wait. This I do not believe, senor. If I was sure Indians were there, we'd drop our guns and come down to you. But I think you tell me lie. I would rather die with my guns speaking death to you. Oh, you cheap pinhorn. If that's the way you feel about it, why don't you ride back up the rim up there? Take a look, see you, them Indians. I ain't for spilling a lot of blood. You ain't to take your life. And I'm telling you, you can't escape anyhow. Well, you better get to moving there. Check up on them. If you ain't back in five minutes, 
Well, they're coming up where you're shooting. You do not have to worry, senor. If those Cosi Dojiwa Indian are on the back trail, we come down and without guns. Come, Lorena. Come, Pedro. Up. Come, my dear boy. Quickly. We shall now find out the truth. <laughs> Stop here, animation. Are you not going on the back trail to look for the Indians? No, you fool. Get off your horse. I know the Indians are there. You think Gold Pan is fool enough to let us get out from under his guns if they are not? Then, hello. We are really trapped. There is no escape from his mace. There is not even trail down from south side. And on the west side, you're only the great gold that dropped down thousands of feet. What can we do? And so, listen to me. We only have five minutes. Then those lazy wild riders will come up and get us. As soon as their guns speak, those Ojiwa Indians will attack too. But we still have one chance in million to escape. Escape? But how, Elobo? We are going to make our horses jump the gorge in the canyon. Jump the canyon? I can't get over there. What can you? No horse can jump that far. We will fall to death. No, no, Sanyo. You gibbering old woman, you are going to be killed anyway. Better we try to jump from Devil's Springboard. We're good now. But I am very afraid, Simon. Maybe this stop your fear. You point your gun on me alone. See? And I pull the trigger if you do not obey me. No, under We strip the saddle off both horses. See, see, I do. I take off the sign. Hurry, hurry with your cinches. Leave nothing on. But the brightness, but in the one, every ounce in this jump would come. Don't go. Don't have a few minutes. Hey, I'm not quite quickly. There, I just shot him. Now hurry, hurry you. Quickly, Monty, what? Hey, hey, hurry, man. Hey. Why am I? But I tell you, Samuel, these horses will never clear the gun. You will never know if you will not try. But Samuel, you, your great mare is so strong. Maybe she can make this jump. You stupid one. Horse you ride is second only to her. I steal your chiquita and horse you ride. The rich Americano over us both. She's the fastest one in Arizona. If you trust no one, you fool, you can trust that beast. Then I try to make the jump, Daniel. Now we start. Slow, low. Easy, Daniel. Come, come, my doctor. Stay with me, people. When I try to come back, I'll blow your head off. You can never come. This time is a jump for life. Now, Pedro, use your spur. Now, my black beauty. Stand there, Romero. Stand it, Pedro. Now, my black beauty, we have made the jump. Pedro, quickly. Your horse is sleeping. Put in the head. Come, come. You stay now, Samuel. But we are not. Look over the gorge. Lazy white rider into the mesh. Come, we must ride for our lives. Now we head into the trees and down to Baron Sutcliffe's new hiding place. The lost mine. Steady, Lorraine. Look, they're just on the mass, they They're going to shoot. And they ride. Up, come, Lorraine. Ride for the trees. Run, my black beauty. Run with the wind. El Lobo and Gomez, riding like madmen, dodge the gunfire of the lazy wire riders and disappear into the dense pine trees. Gold Pan Jeffers and the ranch hands are quickly joined by the Ojiwa Blades, who cannot believe the two bandits could have made a tremendous leap over the gorge. This is indeed a bitter pill for them to swallow. Realizing pursuit now would be hopeless, the disappointed riders turn from the mesa and ride away. Meanwhile, the two bandits ride recklessly down through the pines and head into the Badlands. Just as the great Arizona sun sets red on the far mountain peaks, they pull their sweating horses to a stop before an old abandoned mine. This is the Lost Mine, new headquarters of Bevan Trubska, the mysterious foreigner who so desires the ownership of the Lazy Y Ranch. 
Quickly, El Lobo and Gomez make their way into a dark shaft that drives straight into the hillside. They knock on a door and are admitted to a small, well-lit, well-appointed room where sits Baron Sutska. El Lobo rapidly tells of his disastrous adventures during the past few hours. The Baron, his evil face flushed, rises from his chair. This is ridiculous. Tell you, blundering idiot. We are still no nearer to the ownership of the Lazy Y Ranch than we were a month ago. But, senor, you cannot always win. You seem never to win. You think, El Lobo, the only means of beating a man in Arizona is with a six-gun. Let me tell you, from now on, I shall take complete charge of every move against Gold Pan Jeffa. I need but one more chance, senor. This time, I swear... I will kill Jeffers with my own bare hands. You hulking fool. Killing only Jeffers is not enough. Do you not realize how vitally important it is that I get access to the deposit hidden beneath the lazy Y? With it, we can dictate to the world. This time, we shall try brains versus brawn. Could you possibly comprehend that? I have a plan that will possibly convince you Convince you that brains are more important. We shall go into action tonight at midnight. This time, Jeffers and all his friends shall be destroyed. So, Baron Sutska takes command. This really spells danger to the lazy Y, for the diabolical mind of the Baron, plus Del Lobo's brutal desire for vengeance, can well mean the most powerful move against the lazy Y ranch ever formulated by its enemies. Be sure to listen next week when Charlie Lung and the lazy Y riders face hooded horrors. portrayed by one man, Charlie Lund, the man of a hundred voices. The music was by Dave Bacall. Sound by Bob Conlon and Tiny Lamb. Engineering by Joe Kay. Production and direction by Jack Lyman. And this is Hal Gibney speaking from Hollywood's Radio City. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.